How do y'all? It's Seth. And I bought a $20 backpacking tent. Let's see if it's worth 20 bucks. So if you've watched my channel, you know I like camping, and you know I like hiking. So I figured I'd combine the two and maybe do a little backpacking overnight. So I went online to look up tents, and I was shocked at the price of a one-person overnight backpacking tent. Most of them were $200, $300, but there were some over $2,000 for a tent for one person. So I figured, I don't even know if I'm going to like this. There's got to be a better way. So I went to Walmart.com and looked up backpacking tents. And they had some that were 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 bucks. But they also had some Ozark tents for $30. And if you got it in orange, it was on sale for under 20. So here I am, an orange tent. This actually works for me because orange is kind of my camping color anyway. And we're going to see, is a $20 tent from Walmart any good? So I'm going to run a time-lapse video of the setup. But I wanted to show you, so far so good it's really large though um if i'm out in the woods backpacking this is a lot to carry uh on a, on a hike and on a backpack it's about the width of my backpack um and it, i'd say realistically speaking it weighs probably around five pounds i think the the liner notes said like 4.8 but it's about a five pound tent which is also kind of heavy you ultra light people will hate this but I'm here at a campground, so I just drove it in. So all things considered, it was actually really easy to put up. You can see there are two typical collapsible tent poles there, and they crisscross. The tent just hooks to the frame. There are six uh, tent stakes that I did put in. I would imagine you don't particularly have to on this. However, the ones on the side kind of expand the... Uh, the bottom of the tent out a little bit. And I like having just a little bit of room to move around. So I do have to say, the first thing I noticed about this tent is there is no vestibule. The rainfly basically hugs the tent itself. So I will be putting my shoes in a plastic bag and bringing them inside the tent with me tonight because we are supposed to get rain and nobody wants to put on wet shoes in the morning. So you can see no vestibule, no space to cover our stuff. Also, I mentioned I'm a big fan of the color orange when I go camping. This is actually a direct result of me having dropped stuff in the dark and not having been able to find it. And I said, wow, you know, if this was orange, it'd be easier to find. And then it got to the point where everything I go camping with is orange. So that works for me. If you don't believe me, I'll show you the inside of this tent orange tent, orange sleeping bag, orange mattress pad, and an orange pillow. That is a wise owl pillow. Here, let me get in here and show you. Sorry about all the orange. That is a wise owl outfitters pillow. They have not given me any money. They have not sponsored me. And I have paid for that pillow, but it's inflatable. And I tell you what, that thing is absolutely fantastic and comfortable and loses no air whatsoever as I sleep. And it folds down to about the size of two of the old film canisters. It rolls up tiny. Maybe I'll show you that tomorrow. Or my tomorrow. You'll see it in a few minutes. Good morning from my $20 tent. I'm sure you're probably wondering how I slept. Well, I gotta be honest here. The tent was pretty pretty good um, for what it is. Uh, it did rain in the night. Uh, nothing's come through. We've got uh, no condensation. The top of the tent, as you can see, is kind of flat. So I've got a little, little, some raindrops up there, but it's not terrible. And I guess if you look at the tent, you'd kind of expect that. 
The only complaint I have is I had mentioned last night that the um, that the uh, that Zen's had a electrical cord port, which was kind of open a little bit, and I had joked that it was probably a perfect way for bugs to get in. And of course, three seconds before I started this video, I've got an ant, a big fat ant crawling around on the inside of the tent. Uh, he no longer exists on this realm of existence. But uh, other than that, for 20 bucks, not bad. Uh, and I'm sitting upright. So it's, it's roomy, it's a little narrow, but I'm kind of a big guy, so that's okay. But honestly, for 20 bucks, this is not bad. Um, if I had uh, small children who were, you know, old enough to sleep in a tent, um, you could fit like two, like, 10-year-old kids in here. Um, so if you're going camping, this would be a great tent uh, if you wanted to try to let them uh, sleep in their own tent or something, uh, or Cub Scouts or Boy Scouts or anything like that. Not bad. The The only complaint, I said, like I said, was um, it doesn't exactly... <laughs> seal up tight. It's not a hermetically sealed tent. And, uh, other than that, um, it's not bad. We're gonna make breakfast and then pack this up and let's see how it backs up. And that may or may not change my opinions on this. All right, I'll catch you in a bit. So because there is no vestibule here, this is basically where my shoes spent the night. Um, not bad. They didn't bother me. I didn't kick them or anything in my sleep, but they were our dirty shoes. So next time I will be sure to bring like a plastic shopping bag or something with me to throw them in so they keep the tent a little bit cleaner. So one last negative about this tent. Without a vestibule, we run into a little bit of a problem where the, uh, the door actually has a tendency to want to flop inwards, which on a sunny day wouldn't be a problem. But on a rainy day like today, uh, when I crawled out of the tent this morning, I unzipped it and basically all the, the water and the humidity and whatnot that was on the outside of that tent door fell right onto my leg. Uh, in hindsight, I might be an idiot and should have probably figured that out before I opened the door. I don't remember if I did an outro for my tent video. So if I didn't, here's the outro. If I did, you'll probably never see this. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, hit that subscribe button so you see some more awesome stuff that we do out here in Northeast Tennessee. And when I say we, uh, there's people behind the camera that sometimes you just don't see. They're not as, uh, they care more <laughs> than I do, obviously. But um, all in all, for a $20 tent, uh, that thing is perfect for maybe a weekend warrior. Um, I wouldn't want to like hike the Appalachian Trail and rely on that. But as far as something that I'm going to set up maybe two or three nights a month, uh, fantastic. You definitely get your money's worth out of it. Uh, even if that thing falls apart in six months, you get your money's worth. 20 bucks on a tent, come on. So, got a decent night of sleep. It kept me dry. I had one ant. So, I mean, in the wonderful world of bugs, I can deal with one ant and, uh, other than that, it was not terrible. Um, no vestibule, which kind of sucks. Uh, I guess with the rain fly, uh, you could put a guy line on either side and pull that out and maybe make a little vestibule area. Um, but one of the things I liked about this tent was there were no guy lines and I didn't have to worry about any of that stuff. Uh, I hate having ropes all around camp. So with that said, we're going to sign off. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. Until we meet again. Happy trails.